Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. I've been meaning to do this video for a long time, since the Game Awards, actually, but what I was going to do was that I was going to, like, take a supercut of all these weird, angry Joe moments from the Game Awards 2022 and, like, upload it to my channel and, like, kind of talk over, like, just how insane some of this shit is, but... Honestly, at the end of the day, like, he did not upload um, the video to YouTube, and the app I use to rip videos, like, only works on YouTube videos for some reason, so, um, unfortunately, I have to deal with the fact that, uh, wait, hang on, uh, I have to deal with the, uh, <laughs> the, I have to do this live, or uh, not not live, uh, I have to do a pre-recorded video of me, like, doing a live reaction to this shit. So I'll have to, like, be cycling through this, talking about all these weird moments, talking about, like, just the, just the bizarre nature of this video, because... You know, Angry Joe has really lost it. I, I've i said this about, like, most e-celebs. You know, you know, I'm saying this about Nick Ricada right now. I'm saying this about, like, Jim Sterling. I've said this about, like, basically everyone who still actively produces videos. Uh, Stuttering Craig, for some reason, is, is the most normal one out of the bunch. Probably because he got out. Probably because he realized that he didn't want to talk about video games forever. And so, like, you know, moved on with his life. But, like, the rest of these guys... You know, the completionist, Joe, Spoonie, like, these guys are just declining more and more and more. And uh, I think this is a really good example of this. Like, this uh, this reaction to the Game Awards was just ludicrous. And I really would like to take the time to showcase why. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Okay, we're, we're going to have to be, like, um, put going through all of this in order to in order to cover this adequately. So I'll probably be, probably be skipping ahead uh, to very specific moments. I've already, like, screened this. Um, I actually went ahead and watched this video when when it uh, when the Game Awards concluded. This was actually, I think, the most petty, inconsequential, ridiculous video I, I saw in regards to the Game Awards. So let's let's go ahead and, and hey, see. I'm back. I thought I was back. I was talking to you. Yeah, we're gonna. This is like six hours of footage, so we're gonna have to like skip through a lot of it. This is one. This is the reason why I didn't. I didn't want to do this. Ugh. Let's see. All right, we are looking at the bingo card. There we go. Wait, what? So, so okay, okay. First, first and foremost, Xenoblade 3 will win something, something, not game of the year, like specifically some award or something. No, it's not going to happen. You know, Joe didn't play Xenoblade 3. He doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't care about Xenoblade, but he knows enough about it that it doesn't deserve to win anything, anything at the game awards, not best music. Not best visual design, not best narrative, nothing. Like, this guy will just, is just dismissing Xenoblade 3 despite not knowing anything about it. It's, it's pathetic. Oh, oops, hang on, oops. I, I know, I, I always keep forgetting to adjust my, I keep having my Bluetooth, I keep, I keep using the speak oh, uh, Alexa for the speakers, so every time I switch back, okay. will win best game. No. no. Uh, Elden Ring will win game of the year. Yes, I think that. God of War will win a lot of categories. Yes, I think that. Cyberpunk will win best adapted. No. <laughs> oh man, even Angry Joe isn't willing to shill for Cyberpunk. Oh man, that the time for that is over. Oof, man. That, Angry Joe didn't cover Cyberpunk, really? I, I, I would have thought he would be one of those people like that really sucked Edge Runner's dick. I, I I mean I suppose CD Projekt Red had like the worst shills imaginable. They didn't pay like any actual e celebs. They basically just had a bunch of people, just um Indians come into like message boards and stuff like that and start spamming about how like Cyberpunk Edge Runners is the best thing ever. So I actually agree with Joe here. He's um the show. Controversy, that's a difficult <laughs> That's funny in hindsight. Yeah, because if, if he puts in Who's the next rabbi? YouTubers who f don't fucking know what they're talking about or yeah. they're controversial YouTubers, then yeah, there will be a Resident Evil 4 remake trailer. There's already been, right? 
uh, uh, Zelda will win most anticipated game. Yes. So I'm surprised about that. I, I'm surprised he uh, he says um, he's been pretty he um, he was pretty supportive of Zelda. I suppose this is typical of like game journalists where they'll like they'll shill for Zelda to try and like give this illusion that they're less biased against Nintendo than they actually are. But as you'll see in this video, that is not the case at all. Like other than Zelda, Joe couldn't give a shit about any other Nintendo property, and it gets to the point of absurdity uh, of of absurdity. You'll see. Like um seven rebirth. That's optimistic. Yeah, they were pretty early for that. Mm -hmm. Mario Rabbids will win best strategy. No. <laughs> remake reveal. It did win best strategy. And we'll be going into that like uh when when that actually happens. It's uh one of the biggest freakouts of this stream. It, it's uh you know, I already I actually managed to get a hold of that footage and uploaded that to my channel. Yeah, that was that reaction. When Mario Rabbids won, oh, it's something else. No. Bayonetta will win at best action. No. <laughs> Bayonetta 3! Okay, again, he doesn't know anything about Bayonetta 3. He doesn't know, like, anything about the franchise. He's never played any of the games. But he's he's just outright dismissing Bayonetta purely because it's a Nintendo franchise. Let's be real. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason he's talking shit about Bayonetta. Like, you'll notice this. Like, look at this. Um, look at this list here. Like, Xenoblade 3 will not win anything. Uh, let's see. Mario Rabbids, Metroid Prime, like, Bayonetta 3. Like, are you noticing the things he's not crossing? He, he's not crossing out. The things he thinks won't happen tend to be, like, Nintendo pro-Nintendo-related things. It's, uh, it's very conspicuous if you're looking for it, but... Something embarrassing will happen at least once. Embarrassing. If Mario Rabbids win best strategy, there's going to be a nuclear explosion in that house. There will be a teaser trailer for Zelda. There should be. Yeah. Because well, it's yeah. been so goddamn long. We've already gotten long. teaser trailers for, for Zelda, so... Genshin Impact will win best game. mobile game. Probably. <laughs> Fuck Genshin Impact. will win best ongoing. That's what my community thinks, so I'm going to give it to it. There will be a Starfield trailer. Oh, uh, sure. What does best ongoing main mean? Because, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting new updates. Is, is that suddenly eligible? Like, Splatoon 3 is getting updates. Is that eligible? Like, it feels like that category... It seems like it's for best MMO, specifically. Like, it just feels like it's a shoe in time. Like, there's nothing other than Final Fantasy XIV that will compete. And by the way, Final Fantasy XIV is pure trash, but... Like, uh, again, it's one of those issues with the Game Awards where you just feel like... What is this category supposed to encompass anyway? Like, what what exactly what exactly falls under that umbrella? Because I can list a number of Nintendo games that I consider to be ongoing that are just not even nominated, let alone like going to win. You don't think there'll be that one? Uh, Stray will win best indie game, sure. Bullshit. See if who came out this year. Won't win best multiplayer. Yes, you're right because it will not win best multiplayer. <laughs> Like, okay, okay, we gotta replay that, because that, this is, like, exactly what I'm talking about. When I talk about, like, Joe's seething hatred for Nintendo for no real reason, this is a great example. Splatoon 3 won't win best multiplayer. Yes, you're right, because it will not win best multiplayer. Yeah, I, I want you to keep this in mind. This is a guy who plays, like, you know, shit like Overwatch, who plays Call of Duty every year, who, like... Um, supposedly really likes these kind of online multiplayer shooter games. He doesn't have any interest in Splatoon at all, like in any way, shape, or form. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And again, I've I've gone on record about this, like talking about how weirdly anti-Splatoon like a lot of these YouTubers are. This is a really good example of that, of just like him just dismissing one of the best multiplayer IPs out there for no reason. Right, and and especially when you compare, like it's weird how much flack that like Splatoon three got compared to Overwatch two, which was overall just a worse product. I, I don't see Joe talking shit about Overwatch two, right? If anything, I remember him like sucking Overwatch Overwatch one's dick a lot, even though he didn't actually play it all that all that often, right? Like it feels less like he actually plays and enjoys these games, and more like he wants to get sponsorship deals and he wants to get like partnerships with these with these companies that will enable him. I don't see Nintendo doing that ever. 
And as a result of that, it's resulted in him having this like vendetta against the company. It's it's ridiculous how 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 many of these great Nintendo games he's just writing off really for no reason. At least one big world premiere that is new. Yes, obviously. And Kirby will win best family game. Oh, what did we put as family game? Uh, Fuck, let, me, let me look. Multiverses? No, that's fighting game. Family game was... I don't even remember. Oh, there it is. Lego Star Wars. Sa Skywalker Saga. But Kirby... Yeah, look at that list. Like, look at that list that, that he put up. His, his best family game nomination. I don't even remember. Oh. Okay, look at this. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, these are the nominations for Best Family Game. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Lego Star Wars, Mario Rabbids, Nintendo Switch Sports, and Splatoon 3. Do you notice anything about this list? <laughs> like, four of these five games are Nintendo exclusives. And what does Joe do? He nominates the one non-Nintendo game, like Lego Star Wars, which, let's be real, wasn't that great anyway. Like, I don't know why there were people coming out, like, calling it, like, the kid-friendly DMC or some shit like that. It was, it was absurd. Okay, I hated, hated that. But, but, like, it, it's interesting to see Joe, you know, all these games he didn't play. Like, the, the one he singles out as the best in, like, the family got category, it's, it's the Star Wars one. And, like, this says a little bit about Joe, about how, like, he blindly worships Star Wars, even in this age of, like, Star Wars being dead and irrelevant and, like, owned by Disney with, like, no real hope of recovery. But, like, it also says that, like, <sighs> Kirby and the Forgotten Land is one of the best Kirby games ever made. Like, it's not just the best family game. It's not just, like, one of the best Nintendo games of the year. It's, like, one of the best games ever made, period. Like, I would put that up there with, like, a lot of my favorite Super Nintendo games from the 90s, right? Like, it is a stellar game. Sparks of Hope is really good. You know, uh, Nintendo Switch Sports, super underrated game. Uh, probably my favorite Nintendo Switch Sports, uh, Switch, um, uh, Nintendo Sports game at this stage. Uh, you know, Splatoon 3, you know, one of the best interesting new IPs of the past decade, right? Like, what exactly... <sighs> How does Lego Star Wars even compete with that lineup, let alone, like, win? It, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, of course, like, Star Kirby Wars. won that category. Well-deserved, by the way. But, like, he, my point is that, like, Joe just didn't play Kirby. He didn't play Splatoon. He didn't play Mario Rabbids. Didn't play Nintendo Switch Sports. He has no idea what these other games are like. And yet he's still, like, attacking them by promoting something, like, inferior. Skywalker saga, but Kirby oh, as a family game? is a huge. So we might have a bingo on this side, and we might have a bingo on this side because these two are likely, and I think all the I think all these are something. And then you could argue that that would happen. Oh, I'm excited. We're using this bingo card because this one. I wanted to see how likely it was that we would get a bingo. Okay, is crazy, he uh, crazy, is he done bitching about Nintendo? Should I move uh, on? There's always something cringy. There's some kind. Of, I don't know. Can you consider embarrassing cringy? Yes. Can okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Oh, right. I think Rabbids is not gonna win best. Some controversy during the show. If if cringy is also controversy, you would have a potential circle there. But that's not gonna complete because Mario and Rabbids is not gonna win best strategy. I guarantee <laughs> that. <laughs> Bullshit. Have to be like Horizon or Stray winning game of the year. Or oh, like right. Wins yeah, no, you're best right. Or Sifu and there winning are... best fighting. Because, like, Sifu winning best fighting game is a slap in the face of all fighting games. And I like Sifu a lot. Yeah, so th that's going to be a circle. Because anybody can interpret it. This, this. Bingo. That would be the first one. So I can make y'all randomize bingo cards. Yes. Okay, they put their oh, yeah. Final Fantasy, anything, that'll get hit. Diversity, <laughs> like, what, what? What? Random Hollywood actor being <laughs> Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt putting their own kiss. Okay, let's go ahead and skip through this. Um, this is boring as fuck. Why did he do this, by the way? Why did he like stream six hours? Why did he not just go live during the Game Awards? I, I don't understand. Like it's, it was so stupid. All right. Skipping three hours in. <laughs> Like, I personally was, like, dead by the time the stream was over. And I, like, streamed for um, about four hours. Like, I started right when the show started. Um, I feel like it's disrespectful to the audience, too. Wait a minute. Remember what I 
said Ode right before he loaded up into Steam. I was like, are you sure about that? Okay. Yo, little spacey. Sweet. Yeah, it's way too low. I can't hear shit. And I think this is entirely Joe's fault because it's not on my end. My settings are perfect. They are flawless today. Let's see. Yeah, this is Dead Cells. Uh, Castlevania is... Castlevania really should be thought of as a Nintendo IP because the entire history of the franchise of, like, the relevant stuff, it's all Nintendo exclusive. So, I, I don't know if he'll shit talk this. Probably not, but... I remember him hyping up the uh, Netflix show when, like, he obviously doesn't know anything about Castlevania. Which reminds me of. You know yeah, they're not even reacting to this. This is like one of the most hype announcements of the show. They're not even on screen. They're not even on screen. This is how little they care. Unbelievable. Okay. She's wearing that as a dress. And what better way to segue into our first award of the night? First actual award of the night. Did he stay with you long after you turned this on? No. Unless you were actually going to watch it. Here are your nominees. Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's skip. Yeah, skip mobile game. I don't care. Oops. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, nobody cares about Valiant Hearts. Okay. I love that I'm actually getting to watch these right now. I cannot wait for these games to come out. If we're being honest, I've been doing way too much socializing with real humans and spending way too much time in nature lately. Enough of that. Okay, so cringe. Uh, cringe. 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 Where's the cringe? <laughs> oh, cringe. It's on here somewhere. Gaming icon ninja? Yeah, fuck that. Ninja's not an icon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Be a res intro? Red. Hang on. No, that's not Nintendo related. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly why I didn't want to do it this way. Uh. Yeah. So many boring announcements. Holy oh. shit. Every time the host lies. My favorite. You don't even know what the game's about. <laughs> my favorite game. It's going to be the best game awards yet, and I say this as an expert. And now, here's a look at a beautiful new game. Replay. Let's see. Is that Replay? Okay, here we go. I don't think he spurgs out about this. Kirby. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. If it's not Legos, we boycott. Mario and Lego. We boycott. Nintendo Switch Sports. I think you and Splatoon 3. And the Game Awards uh, goes... Quite a few cheers for Splatoon 3. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We knew it! I think that's the <laughs> yeah. one that I should have picked. I picked Kirby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boycott. That fucking Kirby. Boycott. I fucking knew it. Thank you so much for this award. And Yeah, I, I notice OJ is, like, saying boycott in the background. Like, he's saying it as a joke, but it's it's interesting how, like... They throw that kind of thing out there. Like, you, you, I've been seeing this a lot. Like, I saw this last year, too, with Metroid Dread, when that one best action game. Like, these guys always insist that, like, any Nintendo victory is, like, paid for, that, like, uh, they're shilling for Nintendo or something. Uh, but, like, it, it just... It just feels strange when, when, like... It's so ingrained in their mindset that, like... it like they joke about it it's it's really disconcerting it's a big reason why i was so upset with this uh with this stream and recognition i'm accepting this on behalf of it's Hell just a popular one you know what i mean laboratories yeah, yeah, and nintendo that so that's the one i got wrong land. you know this is um the 30th anniversary of the kirby series and it's pretty cool to see this 
little, cute, but powerful guy finally win one of these. And all he had to do was oh, go Kirby full mouthful. Oh, oh, see, it's Carter like it. I needed to look up. Has yeah. Kirby ever won Thanks a game award? We've got to give it to him. Sympathy, then I would have given it. They paid for it. I guarantee you. Yeah, yeah they're still talking. Right there. Hey, hang on. Pause it. My first wrong one. Yeah, all three of them said it. It's not just OJ. Like, Alex... Alex specifically says it. Like, holy fucking shit. I, I didn't catch this the first time. I finally win one of these. And all he had to do was go oh, full mouthful. Oh, oh, see, it's Carter like it. I needed to look up. Has Kirby ever won a Thanks game award? We've got to give it to him. Sympathy. Thanks. Then I would have given it. They paid for it. I guarantee. Yeah. He guarantees that Nintendo paid for it. <laughs> like, is this guy serious? Like, it's just... You've got to be kidding me. This is... This is so exaggerated how anti like their hatred of nintendo is so their contempt for nintendo is so deeply ingrained they'll throw like all this negative attitude at, at a game that completely 100 percent deserved to win that that award uh it, it was just disgusting that's an advertising right there and finally so that's my first I wrong have a world one premiere that is a trip a franchise that has been around are we gonna say anything else Still going strong. Okay, let's uh, skip ahead. Street Fighter, nobody cares. The thing that's interesting about this is that, like, uh, Joe does shill for Street Fighter VI. Um, which is interesting because he obviously doesn't play Street Fighter. What swears? Because, like, actual Street Fighter fans are, like, really skeptical of Street Fighter VI. As they should be. Street Fighter V was, it was awful. But Joe is, like, shilling for VI, says it. Street Fighter 6 saying it looks better than Tekken 8, which is just a load of crap. That's not even Nintendo related. That's just like me. Oh, wait, hang on. Thank you all for ramping up the night with me. Now it's time for me to grab my. This one's ahead. Let's do the one ahead. Here we go. I completely forgot. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Fuck. Hang on. Oh fuck. This one's ahead. Let's do the one ahead. Fuck. Here Damn it. Go. Hang on. Fuck. Why isn't it pausing? Ah. Okay. I just wanted to say she was cute. Okay, hang on. I just wanted to uh talk Okay, hang on. I don't want you thinking I'm talking about someone else. Fuck. Okay, hang on. okay okay this chick is cute like let's be real this, this is the waifu of the show i think for me uh i've said this several times like yeah very very yeah. effective okay enough of that um, what a smile look at that oh she looks so happy all right okay oh al pacino's there yeah kids entertained the stage play uh, celebrate the story oh, what he's presenting for okay maybe and performer now. right that's to fix it over. let's see <laughs> gotta get over i will like um i will mention that like joe looks significantly more animated during when al pacino was on stage during the rest of it there's not really much more to add since then but like i think this is like an example of how joe is like much more invested in like movies and tv than he is in like actually talking about video games <laughs> how long is the speech it's like seven minutes right oh, hang on let's skip it <laughs> oh man, this is weird. Like second, like, this like, oh, Okay. Super giant sucks. Super giant sucks. Fuck them. Uh, let's see. Bioshock. Nobody cares. I don't think anyone's excited for this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Something Nintendo related. Let's see how Joe reacts. That game be hiding. Yes. A Nintendo game. Did you notice that? Like, did you see his face? Hang on, let's uh, let's freeze frame here. What could that game be hiding? Did you notice that? 
Like, did you notice the way he shifted his eyes the instant he saw this, saw that logo? Like, oh, no, a Nintendo game. Like, the body language here is just laughable. It's pathetic. Like, this guy is upset. He's triggered by a logo. <laughs> That's absurd. A Nintendo game. Bayonetta. Who's that guy who booed? <laughs> Was that a... So I didn't actually hear that. I, I didn't hear it as a boo. I thought it was just someone yelling, but uh, cheering or whatever. But it actually is a boo. Like, apparently that guy was ejected. I don't know if he was like a hardcore Yuri bro or what, but. Hang on. Nintendo I want to listen to that again. Bayonetta Trace. <laughs> Did that from Super Best Friends somehow get, on, get in there? Ah. I'm surprised we got an announcement for this so soon. But. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we did. Shit. Uh, he's already, the yawns are already there. He's so tired of these Nintendo Bayonetta announcements. Bayonetta Origins. Is this like Bayonetta Zero? We're going to pay the voice actress Zero? <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. That wasn't funny. Like, get a real job. Prequel. Is that Bayonetta with her hair? Is that like little girl Bayonetta? She better not take her clothes off with the hair thing. Is that, how old is she in this game? What? This game looks awesome, by the way. I went through like the 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 the, uh, the the playable teaser a couple of times, and I really got enthusiastic about this. This looks awesome. Uh, Maybe if you played three, you would know. But it doesn't, that doesn't even really look like Bayonetta. My dear. How dare a game be different? How dare they do something new and different? Like, unique. Like, fuck it. Mommy? You're in danger in your territory. She meets an infernal demon. This is for the, uh, you know, the anime crowd and the, the, the girls who love the witches. Before she came, Bayonetta, keep your keep clothes on, please. I will give you the power to save Yeah, this is actually a pretty good trailer. The more I see it, the more interested I become in the product. I, uh, I think this is actually going to be a really good game. Power to get naked with your hair. He's making the same joke like two or three times. Like, stop it! Stop it, Joe! You degenerate! Okay. That's all he talks about. The voice actor controversy, which was a non-issue to begin with. And, and like, the clothes thing. It's like he doesn't know anything else about the IP. At least he's not bitching about, like, Jean. And that, that's one thing I'll, I'll give him credit for, but... <laughs> that's, like, that, that's not a high bar to clear. Let's be, let's be clear here. He didn't even play three, so I don't care what you think. I mean, I guess they think that the uh, franchise is ripe and the lore is good enough for it. And plus, you, you put that, yeah, that style right there, like she's a little dancing princess. It's like it's super <laughs> cute. And her voice actress got That's paid right, $200. Three, it won't be Shut up, Joe. Play this brand new action adventure game in the Bayonetta series on March the 17th. All right, there are it's pretty close. I can't believe it's coming out that soon. Three months. But tonight you also have a shot at some cool Probably my most anticipated game of uh, March. On Steam, Valve is giving away a Steam Deck every minute to a viewer of the show. Uh, so I was going to start talking sh slowly, but I probably should start talking a little quicker after Chris's speech, but I'm so glad that he won that <laughs> award. Uh, but seriously, well, Steam Deck is incredible, and you can watch you on Steam.tv. <laughs> I hate you, Jeff. Okay. Okay, okay. These people, this really made me believe that video games can help people heal. This is a Persona thing. Ah, right, here we go. It's Nintendo. My first thing? We <laughs> love how you have fun. From serving up sports at home so to, get in here. to competing and cooperating in fresh ways. Catching new adventures. Nintendo paid for a bunch of ads during this award show, and you can tell they just, Joe just tunes out every time it happens. He is not happy about this. Adventures in vast worlds. 
<laughs> Look at him. Look at that face. What's next? More fun. <laughs> yes. From adorable adventures. <laughs> I guess we can mark this one off because uh, I guess Judas is from big the if it's Bioshock. Goldeneye! Uh, 1080, etc. Et much more. Has anything been available today, right now? Can we count that as controversy? What? The judge took too long and he kept. Engage looks awesome. No, no. <laughs> but, almost presenter wearing a costume. Almost. <laughs> This gold. When it comes to having oh, fun, there's Tears the of the Kingdom the uh, trailer. Right? See where the fun takes you in 2023. Rated M for mature. Well, that was a teaser no trailer. Hope. I'd like to survive. This song bus. Video Grammy nominated Hosier on stage now to perform Blood Upon the Snow from tonight's most nominated Mute. game, God of War Ragnarok. Please welcome yeah. multiple platinum Grammy nominated Hosier. We're probably gonna have <laughs> Why is your smile so fake? Orchestra uh, by Lauren do think? Do, do that judge is here? Yeah. Probably Why was her smile so fake? She she looked really awkward for a yeah, moment there. Have, uh, eh, well, she probably doesn't know anything about the show. She's just there. That's a hard okay. move. Yeah, skip the boot. Skip the show. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Kidding, we're just around, but also statistically popular for fans. Oh, here we go. I'm out now. Let's see here. In vengeance, I am the knight. I am Batman. Kevin Conroy, man. Thank you, Kevin Conroy. 30 years he walks in. Let's see. Right now, uh, he's a little bit. Party animals. <laughs> Let's see here, Arcane, nobody cares. Let's see. Nobody cares, my Celeste. Let's see Kojima. Yeah, nobody cares. I'm sorry about this. It's like, this is why I wanted to make a super cut. Okay. Let's see, skip through it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Strategy, I did that. That's a Total War Warhammer 3. It's got to be. Uh, from what I understand, like, uh, Total War Warhammer 3 was actually broken at launch, and they had to patch it. So there were quite a few reasons why this didn't win. It wasn't just Mario Rabbids being so much better, even though it was. It was, uh, you know, they, they had a lot of launch issues. And, and really, I think Angry Joe is the only person I know who's, like, a fanatic about, like, Total War games. Like, this guy, it's like it's the only game he plays because he always talks about talks up how great they are. But uh, I don't I don't believe it. I, I'm going to press X to doubt on that. Total War Mario Rabbids. He singles out the one Nintendo game. Did you notice that? 
He singles out the Nintendo game as like the least likely to win this category. It's absurd. Here goes to Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I never get tired of that. That's so like this is full mask off. Like this is this is Angry Joe just at his absolute worst. You know, the one franchise he spent his entire career shilling for, fucking Warhammer or Total War, excuse me. Total War loses to a Mario game. Like you know, you know he was seething. Actually, like you can watch this video and you can tell he was seething. Like he was furious about this. No! no! That is an absolute bullshit. That is controversy. Who might have paid you? How much did Nintendo pay? Ah, uh, shut it down. And did we we did do the VR one. Congratulations. Uh -uh. Nintendo won two games now. Fuck. That's some fucking bullshit. <laughs> two whole games. Oh, Nintendo's paying for all these awards. They took our awards. We have much more. We have Mario and Rabbids. No way. He's so salty. Yeah, right. He's seething so hard. Assholes. That was fucking stolen. That was the ultimate. Best strategy. The ultimate. Mario and Rabbits, really? No. Absolutely not. Bullshit. Right here. Controversy. And the fucking Mario Rabbit one. <clears throat> That's some fucking The Magical Net loss from or next to mine. I think it says a lot about Angry Joe's audience that like they weren't very very eager to like push Angry Joe's narrative that this was a controversy, this was stolen. Like I haven't seen any of them try to like pass this off as if it was an unfair award or that like Joe is in the right. It was just uh like Joe does not have the influence that he that uh, he used to have. Not that he ever deserved it, but let's see games for impact. Nobody cares. Okay, okay, send out. Oh, so that's what it looks like. Huh. Okay. Hmm. The time has come. Yeah, some people are getting sick of the art style. I, I can understand that. Everything kind of looking like... I'm becoming more enthusiastic about Engage the more I see it. Like, I really like the art style and the animations. I am really growing attached to it. You know, it's the same-ish. Claims you can play next week. That's right. Finally, we're free. Yes, Edelgard! It's the Emperor! We're just growing uh, weary of each other's conversation. Lend me your strength. Don't hold this against me. Is it commercial? Yes. Okay. So, what has been the biggest game announced so far? I, I Star guess uh, Death Judas. Stranding, Star Wars, or Judas. Joining me now are Genova Chen from that game company. Okay, let's see. What? Okay, here we go. Okay. Here are your nominees for best multiplayer game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, oh, Multiversus, Overwatch 2, Splatoon 3. 
This guy is unironically trying to say that Call of Duty deserved to win Best Multiplayer Award this year. Is he downright delusional or what? And TMNT shreds revenge. And the Game Award goes to... TMT revenge. Splatoon 3! What? <laughs> what? No! This is a fucking Nintendo pick to make the fucking Nintendo people not go fucking crazy and control. Oh no! Jeff Keighley picks Splatoon 3 as the best multiplayer game to... To... <laughs> To ease my suffering, to make me not come after him. Like, it was all to stop me from making angry videos about it. That's really what he's going to try and say about this, about that pick. What a douchebag. Danny to watch her fucking show. That's a fucking bullshit. A fucking third in the series. How many, Alexa, how many Call of Duty games are there? I know about 80 Call of Duty video games. 80 fucking Call of Duty games! This guy is going to say that Call of Duty is more fresh and original than Splatoon? Get the fuck out of here. You are delusional. Uh, what do we pick? Uh, we picked uh, Call of Duty, right? Pretty good night. Yeah, yeah, we got that wrong. Let me check. These are going too crazy. This, this is too fast. Nebellion. Nabru and QT Cinderella. And the game award goes to Ludwig. Congratulations, man. I, 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 I thought it was QT I, I, Cinderella, you I, fucking I, retard. He says QTC Cinderella. Like, I, I didn't catch that the first time I saw that, but like, isn't it QT Cinderella? So this retard doesn't even know how to pronounce, like, <laughs> the nominees. Uh, wow. Um, Legend of Zelda is what we pick. Resident Evil 4, Starfield. Starfield. Oh, Starfield. I Zelda must have missed Tears that. Nobody cares about Starfield. It's dead on arrival. Nobody yeah, cares. It's a heavy but Nintendo. Uh, yeah, Nintendo bias. The Legend of Zelda Tears Boom. of the Kingdom. Got it. So even on, like, the one that they, they picked, they still claim that Nintendo paid for it. Like, let's, let's watch that again. Yeah, yeah. Does he does he ever say that any other company buys awards? Because I've only heard 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 them say that Nintendo does it. It's only Nintendo doing this. Like every other resort is deserve is hard earned and well deserved, but Nintendo, oh, they have to pay for it. <laughs> Got it. Congratulations to all our winners so far, and now it's time for another world premiere. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Yeah, they spurred out here too. Mario. Mario and Rabbids, <laughs> best action game. Oh, That's come on. probably what's going to be. That's so fucking stupid. He's still spurging about that. He's still spur So it's not because he likes Total War that much. It's just he hates the idea of Nintendo dominating a the strategy game a nomination. Like he's still spurging out about Mario Rabbids. Like I I don't understand why this triggered him so badly. We have Call of Duty. And we said sales not action. Wait, sales, not action? Does that mean that he thinks it's going to win because it sold the most? Like, that's a really bad way to evaluate a game, you idiot. It would be cool if Ninja Turtles could win something. Yeah, the game award for best action game goes to... Bayonetta 3! Yes. He looks so upset. Nintendo's paid. He looks so upset. Look at that. I. This is why I had to make the video. Why I had to cover this. Because he is so legitimately annoyed that Nintendo is taking away that many awards. He's spurging the fuck out. 
And, like, it's obvious as to why, right? Because Bayonetta is, like, a unique action game that excels at what it does at, right? Like, what, regardless of what the YouTube community is trying to say about the game, it is clearly a cut above Call of Duty, your pick for the best action game of the year. Because Bayonetta is actually innovative. It actually does new and interesting things with its mechanics. It's actually a good follow-up to an iconic action game. Why wouldn't it win Best Action Game? Like, I would have nominated it for Game of the Year, personally. I, I don't think it should have won, but, like, it should have been nominated. And this guy is going to get angry about this. Like, look at that face. Look at how upset he is. Nintendo's paid. Yep, Nintendo pays. Yeah, according to these guys. Over Call of Duty. Are you serious? This Call of Duty is like one of the best Call of Duties ever. The shit I took like a couple of hours ago is one of the best Call of Duties ever made. Like that's not a bot hard, high bar to clear. By the way, uh, I actually checked his review after uh, this video aired. I was curious what he said about this Call of Duty. He gave it an 8 out of 10. This guy is seriously going to come out here and say Call of Duty is one of the best Call of Duty games ever made and that it should have won best action game and best multiplayer game, but, oh, Bayonetta 3, Splatoon 3, fuck those games. Call of Duty is way better. Fuck this guy. Like, seriously. Okay, well, least, even I had to give props to Call of Duty getting um, absolutely shunned the at the Game teams, Awards. The games, this is fucking bullshit. Tirelessly on bringing Bayonetta to life. Keep in mind, he, like, uh, sucked Jeff Keighley's dick on Twitter after the show. By the way, I saw him release a tweet saying it was a great show. Fuck him. He, he has no integrity at all. Fuck this guy. Thank you so very much. Wow. It's about noon back in Japan oh, tomorrow. I think and I'm no sure they're watching right now. Duty's so able to win this is for you else, folks. Right? Congratulations. Um, I think you all know this, but no one does action games and over the top action games like platinum games and as you saw there yeah platinum games is like objectively the best action game developer in the world even if you're like me and think they've fallen on hard times in recent years what has surpassed them like that's that's the thing about platinum games and talking about how they've like fallen by the wayside is that like there hasn't been anything to replace them. Like, the fanboy answer is, is to say Devil May Cry 5 did, but you, you, to do that, you have to ignore, like, Nier Automata, you have to ignore Star Fox Zero, you have to ignore Metal Gear Rising, the wonderful the wonderful 101, Bayonetta 2, the original Bayonetta. Like, uh, you have to remember, Devil May Cry 4 came out in 2008. So Platinum Games had its entire, like, golden age in between the releases of Devil May Cry 4 and 5. And honestly, like, a good portion of those games, I would say most, if not all of them, are actually better than those games. So, yeah, it's uh, it's embarrassing how, how so many people are are still trying to talk down about Bayonetta 3. They're already hard at work yeah, on their next out. project, so they asked me to say a few words. <clears throat> With our long history of creating action games, it's a huge honor to be awarded Best Action Game for Bayonetta 3. We're also delighted to have been able to reveal a brand new title for the Game Awards today. <coughs> We'd like to thank everyone who helped us bring Babylon the game Fall. to life, and of course, the fans of the series. With the so wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I just realized that this guy played Babylon's Fall, but not Bayonetta 3. He played Babylon's Fall, but not Bayonetta 3. Why hasn't he played Bayonetta 3? Like, Bayonetta 3 is so much better. Like, I understand Pla Babylon's Fall is a joke, and there's, like, all these issues with the game. Like, I... Bayonetta 3 was so much better. Bayonetta 3 is the best game Platinum has put out in a long time. You know, like, I see it as a return to form for them, but, like, people like Joe are just ignoring the game, really, for no reason. To the many players as gameplay, we hope you'll keep your eyes peeled for Cereza's next stories. How many new Remember when Platinum game? Thank you very much. Thank you. We need the best score in music, right? And next we have a trio of exciting new game announcements. First, let's head to Japan for a special announcement. Best mobile game was Marvel Snap. They won, right? You got that one right. Let's see, what is this? I love how all these like, all these games look identical. 
all the Western ones look like the exact same fucking game. It's, it's absurd. You have like Dark Souls clones and Call of Duty clones, and that's about it. Oh shit! I was wrong. Here you go. I'm Chris Pratt. Here. Oh, you're. Uh, why does Mario have such a flat ass? Especially. It's a me, Mario. That that, that's not. That's so not the boy. Metal hell. When you talk really, wanna say so much. Yeah, he's not. He, he's uh, he's not. A, he's not excited about the Mario movie at all. And it's kind of interesting to see him like react to this compared to like the Sonic movie or like. Remember, this is someone who defended like the Monster Hunter movie. So this guy is like, again, has no credibility. Um. Forty K, nobody cares. Forty K is a new Star Wars. Like, I, 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 I feel the need to like bully people who like Forty K. Oh, here we go. Here's to you, Splatoon 3 community. Mm. Big run is imminent. Team up with friends and fend off the Salmonid invasion this weekend. Like, like, what is with that expression? Why is he so upset by the fact Splatoon exists? You know, like, he legit looks annoyed that this game was, that they tried, like, promoting this game to him. Like, I don't look that annoyed when, like, the, people talk about Elden Ring, God of War, or or things like that, you know? Like, he is downright upset. Yeah, he's still smirking about that. A sequel that adds nothing new. Bullshit, like, there there are plenty of things different. I would argue there are too many things different in Sparks of Hope, actually. I, I miss the jump mechanic, and I, I don't know. Like, there are definitely a lot of changes from Sparks of Hope. You are delusional if you think it doesn't. And like this is a guy who bought, who buys like new Madden games every year, every Call of Duty. Fuck him. Fuck him. This I'm looking forward to. Like. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Splatoon three. Fuck Mario Rabbids. But all oh, I'm I'm excited for Blood Bowl. Like what the fuck even is Blood Bowl? Is it like a a Warhammer thing? I, I don't know. For a while, but we're gonna run um, this com with our community. I, I can't wait to. But it's a, it's a ma'am okay uh hang on uh chronicles 3 and the game award goes Elden to Ban Ban Ragnarok. And it yeah. goes Both to away. Stray. Congratulations, Tom and Hidden West. Stray. I don't think there's anything. Uh, I don't think there's anything else interesting. Um, hang on, let me skip through here to the end. I mean, we might, we might watch his, like, closing thoughts to see him, like, spurg about it. Hey! Hey! In our in to be nominated, <laughs> you be titled. You have my utmost respect. Uh, Zero and OJ think it's Elden Ring. It's Armored Core, right? Yeah. <laughs> He really has like nothing, nothing to add to the Mario Mario movie discussion other than like bitching about the voice. It, it's gotten old. It got old before the trailer was even shown. Stop it. 
Uh, let's see here. I think, uh... Man, fucking medieval fucking armor. Wait, what? Did he say Bill Clinton? Well, that security taking him off because he wasn't supposed to be in there? Well... <laughs> oh, oh no! It's the Bill Clinton kid. I can't believe that next year, 2023 marks the 10th. He wasn't even a part of the development team, probably. So you don't get five people on stage. Damn, they need security or something. <laughs> oh no! One last special announcement from us. But I'm not even heard of any TikTok and stupid Bill Clinton things amongst the Zoomers. You can ring time. God of War. War. Three. Okay, and then, um, God of War, six, no, no, five, five, five. game of the year, Direction that counts as, right, they thought it was like maybe the son of somebody, I think it was best one, I think, mm -hmm. but it's not that. let's see, does he think Jedi anything? Judas is above five. Alex <laughs> doesn't know about that game. They're new stories. They're new. I am Final Fantasy. No, so Joe. No, nobody looks, knows. Nobody knows nothing about that game, does. Joe. No. Alex <laughs> doesn't know about that game. They're new stories. They're new things. <laughs> What's that? What's up, everybody? What Biggest fucking. I didn't know what his grammar got. You're kind of sign with oh, people not to get back. Mm, yeah, I, I mean, Horizon is good, but it's not game of the year material. So then we had he probably didn't even play Horizon either. Other than thinks it, uh, they would do the boys, but they did some more voice. It's a meme. No, notice how he talks about like Horizon versus how he talks about like the typical Nintendo product. Horizon's good, but it's not game of the year. But like, meanwhile, he'll like denounce every Nintendo game that even gets announced. Like, it's it's really weird. Hey, Mario, no, no, that's not voice. voice. It, that was the voice. Uh, Crash that player for Mech Fan trailer. And what else? Um. Wow, they didn't even give a fucking a, a list website at least. Uh, this was a big one. Uh, Judas, you know, it's like Bioshock. It's the return of Kevin Levine. Levine. Uh, Bayonetta Oranges was kind. Of, Origins was kind of an awkward one. Yeah. Survey sucks. <laughs> Bullshit. Awkward. No, that game looks awesome. <laughs> like the third game just came out. Uh, to critical acclaim, uh, people love Bayonetta 3, and, like, a spin-off title is honestly something that the series really needs if it wants to grow. So I am I'm very, very much in support of Bayonetta Origins. The Lost, Lost Demon, Demon, I guess, I guess they're trying to capture up that, that uh, the anime, you know, kids and stuff. Uh, Nintendo Sizzle Reel. We got Ghostbusters on that. We used to. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will be his last role. So they kind of bad guys, which I think is the, the gang beasts. You know, awakening that I expect to not can didn't even show us any gameplay. So uh, I gotta tell you, still a ways away. James, this is interesting. June six, June six. Let's see, I don't call. think he says anything really interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interesting. It could be that asymmetrical thing. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's it. Uh, uh, me too. Me too. Me too. I, don't I don't like to make it up that high. <laughs> yeah, closing thoughts. Uh, that was ridiculous. That was absurd. I I am shocked. I'm appalled that he did this. Uh, Angry Joe sucks. He is a complete train wreck of a video game YouTuber.